Hi, my name is Katherine Hawkins. I am a um, cancer fighter right now. I'm fighting stage 3 breast cancer. I've had kidney cancer, ovarian cancer, two other different types of breast cancer, and some skin cancer in the past five years. I have had 57 surgeries. I've gone through chemotherapy, radiation, chemo shots. I'm on medication for chronic brainstem migraines. I suffer from from Meers disease and uh, depression and anxiety. I can't work anymore right now because I have another sur two surgeries that I have to have at the end of the year. No one would want to hire somebody who has to all of a sudden get out of training to go have surgery again and maybe come back or maybe not. My husband has been working jobs that he hates just so he can be able to take me to doctor's appointments during the week. We've sold our 401ks. We've sold stock options. We have sold everything but our wedding rings, which we won't sell. We have six children. I have five girls and one boy. 28, 24, 20, 18, 14, and 12. The rate my cancer is going, I'm not going to see them all grow up. And I'm trying to fix things and get things in place so when I am gone, everything is going to be okay. The reason I'm making this video is because I need your help. I live in an area of a refining company. They are dumping things into our atmosphere, like asbestos, burning bad batches of oil, and they don't care. In my area alone where I live, within arm's length, there are 13 families that have been affected by cancer. There has been a lady with ovarian. There's been two people with breast cancer besides myself, pancreatic cancer, lymphoma, and two brain cancers all in this area. And that doesn't include down the street further or up the street further or, or further around in town. Nobody will say anything. No lawyers will help me. They need to clean up this area. I have to help these people and my family. I'm going to lose my house pretty soon here because we can't make afford to make the payments. And we only had six years left on our mortgage. We're going to get our electric shut off because we can't afford our electric. We just qualified for food stamps by $10. We went from an income of $72,000 a year down to twenty one. I'm not letting cancer define me. I am trying to beat it and get ahead of it. I want to move out of the area to be closer to family for my husband and for my kids. And I don't know how to do it. We can't we can't walk away from our house because we have nowhere to live. Not only that, we could lose thousands of dollars. But we're gonna lose thousands of dollars anyway because they're gonna foreclose soon. So we're stuck. I have reached out to this refining company, sent them letters, no response, tried to find an attorney that would help me. No, because it would be connected to the town I live in because the town's ignoring it. My family means everything to me. I don't want them to live in an environment like this. We bought our house 10 years ago, and in 10 years, we didn't know any of this was around us, or we wouldn't have bought a house here. But now we're stuck. I'm 46 years old. I have a hell of a lot of living left to do. I have a bucket list that I can't even, I haven't even touched. The last six years, my 12-year-old and 14-year-old 
an 18-year-old, has only known me as being sick. I don't want to be that person for the rest of my life being sick and not being able to help them. So that's why I'm making this video. Making this video to reach out to people who are in the same situation that I am in. To try to help me figure out what to do, where to go, where to turn. Because right now there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing left I can do. But if I can, I can get help. And there's got to be somebody out there that can help us. My husband, it means everything to me and my kids. And I don't want them living in this environment anymore. I want them to have a, a home, a safer home than this. And people say, just pack it all up, move. We can't move. We have no one to move to yet. We have no money to move with. We have no savings anymore. Cancer is a lot serious than people think. It's not just, oh, let's fill you up with drugs and it'll be all better. It's it's not. Especially people like me. I've had five different cancers. My body can't take much more. My bones are breaking. They're not healing. I want to enjoy the rest of my life and I want to help my family and these people in this area to get something done about these people who don't give a shit. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. We have family, but they're all in the same predicament. Either they're moving or they don't have a house big enough for us. We can't do that to them. There's got to be some organizations out there, something that can help us. Can someone please contact me if you have any information? Contact me on my email. It's katherinehawkins69 at gmail.com. I'm not one of those people that ask for help. But at this point in my life, I don't have a choice because I don't know how much more time I have left. And there's got to be somebody somewhere that can help us. Thanks for listening and have a good day.